Hey guys, it's me. Um, as you know, I have my surgery on the 12th. So what I'm doing today, and I actually started yesterday, is preparing a bunch of freezer meals for my family um, for a couple reasons. One, if your husband's anything like mine, he's pretty useless in the kitchen. And I don't want them trying to eat out every day that I'm incapacitated and unable to cook. And then also, even once I am able to cook, it's probably gonna really suck to be trying to cook food for people when I can't eat anything myself. So I'm trying to put together as many meals as I can to freeze so that it can just get popped in the oven and, um, and heat it up. So I'm going to share some of these recipes with you. Um, this will definitely be the abridged version because I don't have a cameraman uh, to film as I cook and I can't find my tripod. So I'm just going to give an overview of the different dishes um, so you can use them as maybe an idea for yourself if you're doing something similar. So. First, we're starting with um, something I already made. This is just a simple spaghetti that I made using um, ground turkey. Um, I got some yellow and orange peppers in there that I sauteed first with uh, um, some onions. And then I just used some jar sauce, um, added my own seasonings to it, like uh, uh, just a different Italian seasonings and you know, onion powder, garlic powder, and um, salt, pepper, and some bay leaf. So I just put it together and I'm letting it cool because I like for it to cool off completely before I wrap it um, for freezing. So that's the first dish. Then over here what I'm working on right now is these stuffed shells, um, which are going to be really good. It's um, the jumbo pasta shells um, and all you have to do is just cook them according to package directions strain them and set them to the side to cool off before you try to stuff them and what they're actually stuffed with is um, a little mixture that I put together um, it's one small container of low-fat ricotta cheese um, a little bit of fresh uh, shredded parmesan in there and I used spinach but I used the frozen uh, chopped spinach which was really easy and then there's one egg in there to kind of bind it all together stir it up and use a spoon to just gently stuff it in the shells and line them in the pan like this um, I'm not quite done I've got some a little bit of mixture left so I'm gonna make a couple extra ones um, and maybe cook them today as a sample. Um, then I'm going to put uh, a little bit of diced tomato on the top and um, some shredded cheese and then I'll wrap it. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to cook it. I'm going to probably cook it and then wrap it. And I'll show the finished product when I'm done. The sauce that I used. Um, you just pour it right on there out of the can. I think if I wasn't in such a big hurry, I would probably make my own sauce, but why kill myself, right? Um, just pour it on there and um, bake it. The next dish is um, these little individual chicken pot pies. And all I did was take one chicken breast, um, shred it, mix it with the prepackaged frozen um, corn peas and carrots mix out of the freezer um, and then I got these uh, little pie pans and um, I used this brand here echo foil came in like a pack of six and then I filled each one with the refrigerator pre-made dough as you can see here I baked several chicken breasts to use for different dishes so I was able to use like just one I believe for this whole meal um, so you add in, uh, you know, once you get done making the mixture, you put the filling into the pie crust. Um, oh, I forgot to mention also that I used um, cream of chicken soup. One can with just a little bit of milk in there um, to thin it out. And it's going to be really tasty. I didn't put any extra seasonings in there except for what I put on the chicken. And, um, you know, just do it evenly so here's the finished product here and then you're gonna cut out 
more circles of that pie crust and close it over. So the next dish, I use this Asian style rice from Steam Fresh. Um, you just pop it in the oven. I used one chicken breast um, that I seasoned with kick and chicken. Um, I'm also making at the same time um, some chicken enchiladas. So I was double dipping here. So this um, dish here is just the chicken enchiladas. So I used shredded chicken um, and some onion sauteed together and then I added a big can of the pre-made enchilada sauce. Um, cooked it up and then I cooked the tortillas um, just briefly in some cooking spray um, to soften it on both sides. And then I'm using this reduced fat um, Mexi Mexican cheese shred. A little bit in each one, fold it up, stick it in the pan, pour the remaining enchilada sauce over the top and cover it with cheese. And then you're gonna wrap it and it is good to go. And I'm telling you, it is delicious. So you can see this is how I wrap all the dishes. I put several layers of saran wrap and then um, I put one note card that tells the reheating instructions and then I cover it with foil and it's ready for the freezer.